to Townsend Church and Storytime with Miss Tracy. I am so excited that you joined me today. Today's story is a fun story because Kai is up in our Wonder Tree Fort and he has Ollie who's going to come visit him. And Ollie is going to take you to Cassie. Cassie has an amazing story for you about somebody who had a very special dream. But boys and girls, when you are done watching this today, I want you to remember something. God has a plan for you and he has a plan for me. Always remember how special you are to God. Let's go ahead and do our Bible truth. Are you ready? Here we go. Ready? God made me. He sure did. He made me and he made you. Here comes our next Bible truth. Are you ready? God loves me. He sure does. He loves me just as much as he loves you. And here is our very, very last Bible truth. Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Thank goodness Jesus wants to be our friend. But boys and girls, there's something amazing starting at Townsend Church. Are you ready? This Sunday is our first Sunday to open up our nursery to grade five. So if your mommy and daddy want to bring you to church, we have a lot of teachers who are excited to see you. But if not, you keep watching Mrs. Tracy here at Townsend Church for preschool story time. Come back and see me next week. See you soon. Bye. here today. I was getting ready for the 
big ice cream sundae party at the clubhouse. These pictures are a step-by-step -step plan on how to make the most fantastic, most spectacular, most yummiest to the tummiest ice cream sundae ever. Step one, you get a bowl, a spoon, and a napkin, then you're ready to make an ice cream sundae. Step two, add ice cream to the bowl. It can be any kind of ice cream you want. Step three, add the toppings. Ice cream sundaes need lots of toppings. Step four, and what's the last thing we do with our ice cream sundae? We eat it, what a great plan. Who, who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Ho, ho, what are you up to? Hi, Ollie. Well, I just finished putting together my plan to make the perfect ice cream sundae. Yes, that is an excellent plan. It's true. I have a story about another great plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. I'm Casey, and I'm helping out at the Cupcake Food Truck. Do you want to see my latest, most delicious creation? Ta-da! These are my Sweet Dreams Cupcakes, because in today's story, we're going to talk about someone who had some pretty amazing dreams. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three! Tell me a story! Woo! This is Joseph. He was put in jail, even though he had done nothing wrong. Being in jail was hard for Joseph, but God had a different plan. One day, the king of all of Egypt, the pharaoh, had some dreams he didn't understand. They were about seven cows. Cows? What do cows say? Moo! You're right. <laughs> Dreaming about cows is funny. Wait, ooh, let's count the cows in Pharaoh's dream. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven! Great job! Seven cows. The pharaoh also dreamed about stalks of grain. Grain? We make bread out of grain. Let's pretend to have a snack. Mm, yum. Mm, yum! Pharaoh wanted to know what his dreams meant. And drum roll, please. He asked Joseph to help him. Hooray! Joseph was brought out of jail straight to the Pharaoh. He told Pharaoh that the dreams were from God, that Pharaoh needed to save lots and lots of grain because his people were going to be hungry and need it later. Pharaoh was so happy to know what his dreams meant that he gave Joseph a very special job. He put Joseph in charge of all of Egypt. Years later, the dreams came true. People were hungry and didn't have food. So they traveled from all over to get grain from Joseph. Wow! God's plan was for Joseph to help all these people. God has a plan for us too. And God's plan is the best plan. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! <laughs> hey, Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. Joseph followed God's plan, and we should too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, I 
loved that story. Joseph followed God's plan and helped so many people. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm excited about following this plan. It's going to be delicious. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11.